All right, so we got the, uh, the front bumper is off. We're just uh, draining some oil, gonna get the coolant out of the system, and uh, then we'll lower it back down. We'll be ready to actually start tearing into the uh, oil pump gears and the intake manifold and all that fun stuff. And then hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have all that ha handled and maybe part of the turbo system uh, bolted up. Got to take uh, take this header off right there. Uh, drop the exhaust from from that part back or forward. Really, we got to take the forward part off. The cap back and stay for now. And then most of it's going to mount up. Hard to tell you. There you go. Mount up right in there, right where those uh, those things are. Give you guys a quick rundown of. Uh, what we got going on? You got some Borg Warner. These are Airwork, uh, Airworks 5762s, I believe. Um, got the Hellion wastegates made for Hellion by uh, Turbo Smart. It's a used kit, so it's not brand new. Got a new gasket. This is for your intercooler bracket. Got the uh, MMR lockouts. Doing some new filters because those were a mess. New spark plugs, Ford Racing, one step holder. Got the boundary, uh, oil pump gear, and the sprocket, crank sprocket. Gotta have some ID 1050s right here. Injector dynamics. Got our new oil filter, some oil, some new coolant. And then down here, a little bit of a mess, have it all spread out, ready to go. Got our down pipes, some charge pipes. The rest of the miscellaneous cables, wires, and blah, blah, blah. Our sleeper intake and a big intercooler. All right. I don't know, about an hour later, intake manifold's off. Mike's making a mess of coolant on the floor. Uh, we got to pull the uh, thermostat and like hoses and all that fun stuff, but got this off not too bad a little bit of a pain in the back just trying to get our big hands back there and pull some of the harnesses off the IMRC controls but other than that not too bad got a fuel rail degas bottle all the fun stuff over here old uh, JLT intake so Mike's filthy say hi Mike yeah hi <laughs> Uh, got the driver's side valve cover off. Mike is never cursed in his entire life, and he's about <laughs> to. But he's got uh, well, he's got the high pressure pump off finally. So yeah, uh, that was a real pain right here trying to get that out of the way so that we could get the cover off. So almost there on this side. And then I've been working on loosening, not taking everything off, but getting some pulleys off loosening bolts so that when we're both ready we can start working on the front of the cover and then get down there to that big old crank and get to the oil pump which is just worst place ever <laughs> so as you can see we are now into the timing uh, cover and we have to take the timing chains off and that way we can uh, put the new pump on and oil pump with oil pump gears and the new sprocket and then reverse the process and then we can put the turbo kit on. That is the new oil pump gear housing. I bought a new one uh, with the oil pump gears already in there from Boundary. You can see the serial number here from, from them and they, they have, part number and the serial number so that's the new one and uh, kind of a pain this there's a screw back here or bolt that holds the oil pan up and it's just in a really bad spot so you kind of got to go at it by one by one but um now we just gotta get this snug back on put our crank sprocket back on get this snug back on um, and then we'll put our chains back on time it out put the cover back on then we can put the oil pan back up and Put all this back together.
this is uh, it's all done it's here at my house it's up on some jack stands right now I'm installing a boost controller and a wideband um, and just a few other things fixing some vacuum lines I had to put new oil drains on it and um, just wanted to kind of you know touch base with you guys the car's great it's running awesome um, so I uh, brought it home I put it on my dyno So the car's been running really good. Um, it made 714 to the wheels on 93 octane at about 18 degrees of timing. Um, I really think that's that's awesome, especially for 93 octane and the size of these turbos. Um, these aren't like some of the bigger ones you can get on the Hellion kits. So for nine PSI, 9.5, I think is uh, what the dyno picks up. Um, it's running really well. So um, goals are is to uh, basically, um, you know, Get this thing dialed in on that uh, i've got a, a boost controller that i want to turn the boost up a little bit see how it does on pump gas obviously the timing is going to come down a little bit um, but for there i just want to just see what it does um you know kind of hopeful for like something north of 800 maybe 850 um not going to keep it like that all day every day in fact i'm even going to get a lighter um wastegate spring to bring the boost down a little bit more so that i can have like a seven psi um wastegate setting right now nine nine and a half something that's just a little more streetable um you know something easier on the engine and i've got a boost controller so if i want to go to nine or ten eleven twelve fourteen whatever it is um, i can do that um, but it's you can't really go lower than the wastegates allow you so i'm probably going to do that but not right now car's running great running hard on the street a few things i need to do in the tune to just you know finish it up and uh you know really really excited with how this car turned out so um you know anyways you'll see it on the road you'll see it in class and uh that's all i got for you guys